All right. So good morning. Another discussion. So let's begin. And our topic for today is all about the complications of the blood transfusion therapy. So we have these objectives. Um, we have the overview of the blood transfusion, the blood. Uh, the blood complications and to discuss the signs and the symptoms so we have the overview transfusion reactions are defined as the adverse events associated with the transfusion of whole blood or one of its components this may range in severity from minor to life threatening Reaction can occur during the transfusion or days or weeks later and may be immunologic or non-immunologic. A reaction may be difficult to diagnose as it can present with non-specific, often overlapping symptoms. And most common symptoms are the fever, the chills, and itching. Now, we're gonna discuss about the complications to help you with the assessment findings. So, first, we have the... We're gonna discuss about the allergic reaction. So, this is caused by sensitivity to plasma proteins of the donor, donor's antibody, which reacts with the recipient's antigen. What do we need to assess? So, of course, expect flushing, rash or hives, pruritus, and of course, the ra ra laryngeal edema or the difficulty of breathing. So, these are the signs and the symptoms of the allergic reaction. So, next, we have the febrile or the non-hemolytic reaction. Um, this is caused by hypersensitivity to donor white cells, platelets, or plasma proteins. Um, this is the most symptomatic uh, or the pinakamaraming symptoms. So, uh, what do we need to assess is the sudden chills or fever. And also the flushing. And we have also headache. And of course, you may also have this anxiety. And next... We have the septic reaction. So, this is caused by the transfusion of blood or components contaminated with bacteria. Contaminated with bacteria. What can we assess on our patients is that we have the rapid onset chills. Rapid onset chills. And vomiting next the marked hypotension and of course the high fever next we have the circulatory overload circulatory overload is caused by administration of blood volume at the rate greater than the circulatory system can accommodate that's why it is important to regulate our blood pressure. The things that you may assess are rise in venous pressure, uh, dyspnea, um, crackles or rails, of course, the distended neck vein also, the cough, and elevated blood pressure. And Lastly, we have the hemolytic reaction. So, hemolytic reaction is caused 
by the inconfusion of the incompatible blood products. So, what do we need to assess is that we need to assess to low back pain because this is the first sign. Uh, yeah, and next we have the chills. Of course, the feeling of fullness and the uh, tachycardia. Also, the flushing. Next, the tachypnea. Yan. And also, hypotension. Next, the bleeding, the vascular collapse, and of course, the acute renal failure. So, um, there you go. These are the, the blood complications because of the blood transfusion. So, that is the end of our discussion and I hope you learned something and thank you guys for listening. Have a nice day.